Hey man, welcome back. I am in Seattle, and I'm here with my good friend Jackie. Um, and it's fun, man, because Jackie I've known for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, a lot of times over the years, I will speak at schools about social enterprise. And I meet a lot of, and I actually get to judge a lot of kind of um, competitions for people who do um, proposals, you know, plans, uh, students who get together kind of a capstone project. And when I came to the Bainbridge Graduate Institute here in Seattle, one of the only, in fact, probably the first, if not the only still, uh, master's uh, business degree program with a major in sustainability, um, Jackie and her team had an amazing idea called Stock Box Groceries. And the idea was really to take literally a classic stock box, 12 by 24, or the ge geometric equivalent, and to create grocery stores for underserved neighborhoods. And bang, here, here we, we are. are, and it's day two of the very first stop. So congratulations Thank you. We're here. We're very excited. Tell us a little bit about the neighborhood and what you hope to achieve here. Yeah, so we're located in the South Park community of Seattle, um, which is a predominantly Hispanic community. It's a very small, close-knit community, very tight, uh, food-loving community. Um, a lot of really great things going on here. Um, and we're actually located in their main business district. This is actually a storefront, not a shipping container this time. Right, yeah. Um, which is a big change for us, but people have just been really excited about our color scheme and our branding and well, you really obviously, stand out. Yeah, I mean, you really stand out on our, the street. Yeah, our, when our sign arrived the other day, we both screamed because it was so loud. I was so yeah. big and yeah. just, I mean, we have really Isn't great. Isn't that the cool thing about, about a business is these days yeah. where the dream becomes a reality yeah. and all of a sudden, there's a sign, yeah, you know, there's exactly. inventory, there's customers. Yeah. So. And, and we've spent a lot of time over the last six months after our prototype, which was a lot different than this. It always um, is, yeah. Spending a lot of time really thinking very intentionally about how we're going to roll out. And we're very pleased with the results. And the community has just been so thankful and so just well, excited by tell it. Tell us a little bit about the inventory. What do you, what do you sell? So we're selling, we have just over 800 items right now. Right. Um, our focus is fresh produce, meal solutions, and really grocery staples. So right. paring down the good stuff in the grocery store, good food. We don't yeah, preach so health, we preach good really food. Great. And yeah. a Gabe, Mighty Gabe's behind the camera, and he's another BGI man. See so how so good he can walk and film at the <laughs> yeah. same time. But you got all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, you got all have, kinds. You got this is our, everything this you This is our grab-and-go cooler with produce. So we'll, we have a lot of, this is a small community. There are about 4,000 people, but there's 17,000 people that work here. So we're trying to get them in on their lunch breaks right. and then um, expand into online ordering so they can pick up things after work um, is our goal cool. to really capture more of the community. And we really try to do a mix of conventional and organic right. and then also some, you know, a lot of Hispanic options for to target the community. You know, one of my favorite products in the Puget Sound is Dave's Killer Bread. <laughs> Dave, if I'm not mistaken, Dave was uh, out of prison. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Dave put together this bread that has taken kind of the Puget Sound area by storm. And I really want to meet this guy. So Dave, if you're out there, man, Robert Egger wants to hook up uh, and, and, and compare notes. But in the meantime, Maybe congratulations on St uh, Stockbox Groceries number one. Number one. Uh, and there's many more to come. Yes, absolutely. So, and again, man, if you're one of those young men and women who have a vision, have a dream, have a plan about how you can merge, you know, yeah. people, planet, profit, you know, that you can make something happen where you do good and do well yes. at the same time, it's where philanthropy is how you make your money and philanthropy is how you spend your money. Exhibit A, it works. It's possible and it's fun. Yeah, right on. It's See fun. you down the road.